Hello again for another tutorial video. Number four, train. Four. The verbal still flight. Learn how to escape verbal atmosphere and return safely. In this tutorial, flight instructor Gene Berman will take you through the essential flight controls and instruments required to launch a simple rocket to an almost re respectable altitude. And how to get back in one piece. Hello again, glad you could make it back. Today we will take an uh, exciting step, getting our first Kerbal into space. Hopefully you remember the controls we discussed in the basic flight tutorial, but don't forget that you can always press escape to climb and click the view key button, uh, binding key button for a reminder. If you are ready, let's get started. Your mission today is to make a short suborbital uh, flight out over the, uh, the water to the east. It's a nice parsing pad that ensures a gentle survivable re-entry. Straight up then straight down is not good for survival. I've set up the pink target indicator on the nav ball uh, as aim point but do note that this is not the case for normal missions. Used for other things and does not help with uh, 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 starting with the noise, the nose pointing straight up on the launch pad or 90 degrees elevation from the east uh, horizon. Tilt east to 80 degrees elevation on the nav ball by 150 uh, meters per second. Start as this. Okay. So we start at 50 meters per second, we tilt to 80 degrees till 150 meters per second. Then tilt east 70 degrees, starting from 250 meters per second uh, until 400 meter, meters per second. After burnout, coast up into space and have a look around. Prepare for re-entry. Lastly, re-enter and land safe. Once we reach burnout, we'll have a bit more time to discuss uh, some other things. Okay. Unlike the hopper in our first mission, uh, this new craft has liquid fuel and fuel in. This means we can use the throttle to set the output power of the ship's in. Throttle is controlled by the following keys. Up, down. These, uh, try these out now, you will see the indicator and needle slide up and down along the graph, graph on. down uh, next SDS stands for stability augmentation system although verbal as astronauts usually refer it as sickness avoidance machine whatever it stands for what it does it tries to stop the ship from spinning around using computer controlled auto torque drive compensator technology to counteract the rotation of the ship. In its simplest mode, it will keep the ship aligned with the orientation it has been, uh, it has when you turn SDS on or if you pitch your roll while SDS is on, the orientation when you release the control. Yeah. SDS can be activated uh, momentarily by holding down F and it can be toggled by pressing C or the print button. If you have problem, follow the maneuvers. Once you uh, enable uh, SDS and lift off, you can click the small red button to the left of the nav ball that has a miniature target indicator that will cause the SDS to follow the target indicator and fly for you. Ah, okay. So once you take off, This craft has a bit too much inch, so we are going to throttle down for launch. Set your throttle to two thirds. Uh, also turn on SDS to help control things. It will keep you pointed where you want to. Um, throttle. throttle was here. Two thirds is out here. Okay. Mm. 
<laughs> During this lesson, some of the information is quite detailed and could take a while to read. As this is a short suborbital hop, I don't want to want you to miss anything important. If you, uh, I will place a warning at the top page, at top of pages where you might want to pause the game to read. The warning will look like. This. Okay, enough talk. I'll unlock the rest of the flight controls and you'll be clear to launch. At any time you may press escape to pause the game. In the pause menu you can restart the flight or end this tutorial and return to the main menu. I've, ena I've enabled the target marker on the nav ball. Give it a look to make sure you see it. This one. Get ready to light the candle. Double check your throttle is set to two-thirds, yeah, um, and FPS is enabled, yes, uh, then hit space, and when you're ready to launch, remember to start, to start turning at 50 meters, okay, so it was 80 degrees, then 70 degrees, right, yeah, here we go, 50, Degrees at 400 uh, until 400 meters per second. Okay. Okay. Next, next. Uh, FPS uh, on. This one on. Uh, throttle two thirds. Throttle thirds. Oh. Good. Okay. Next. <coughs> next. Okay. Here we go. Flight number two. Oh yeah, and uh, we have lift off. Three, two, one, yeah, yeah, okay. Fifty. Fifty goes to eighty. You've succeeded. Oh, uh, escape. Uh, you succeeded uh, in getting your ship on a trajectory bound for space. I've now set your target indicator to align with your velocity vector that will minimize drag by turning the smallest size of the vehicle into air flow. Uh, somewhere around here, you will see the navball speed indicator auto switch from surface to orbit. Surface orbit. Okay. Um, accompanied by the speed number jumping, go ahead and switch it back to surface mode by clicking on it until it says surface again. Ah, so this will automatically go to orbit, but we have to switch it on the surface. Okay. You might have noticed some flickering flames near the end of, uh, of our burn there, which is due to the high speed of your craft in the atmosphere. Normally, our ascent would be a little slower, but I'm sure my friend Werner 
has helped you build a ship that can withstand the speed. And besides this high and this slow, you'll be fine. If you want to have a look at your trajectory, you can switch to the map M. Uh, okay. Uh, to have a look at your trajectory path, just remember to come back to flight mode again. Okay. Uh, escape. Now that we are coasting our way to uh, oh right uh, M. Uh, above this uh, we've got a little time to chat. Once you clear the atmosphere, we'll go over what you can do in space. Uh, okay. Whew. Now we wait. While we float up here beyond the atmosphere, I'll quickly tell you about a couple of things you can do. With an advanced enough astronaut complex in the TSC, you can train our thermals to be able to spacewalk or EVA. Oh. Cannot EVA? There you go. Okay. Um, although we won't be doing that just like okay. Also, when we are carrying science devices like our goo containers, we can perform experiments. You're free to play with the goo containers now uh, by right clicking on them. I'll let you know when it's time uh, for the next phase of this suborbital flight. Right click, observe. Okay, keep it sure. Then Steady on a uh, on your new altitude attitude um, and get ready to decouple the stage and start re-entry. Okay, I'm ready. Now re-entering carbon atmosphere, make sure to keep all hands and feet inside. Uh, we don't want to uh, you getting burned or anything, don't mind the flames. Okay, and he rebuilt the ship uh, to stand them. Last time we watched the parachute icon to wait for the right time to open the chute. This time we are going to do something a little bit different. Remember in the construction tutorial where you designed this vessel, you set the chute to not semi-deploy. Uh, yeah. Semi deploy until 0.75 atmospheres of pressure. That means the chute won't perform the first of its two deployment steps until then. Even if you activate it by staging now on Kerbin, uh, 2000 meter altitude above sea level and the grass should be traveling slowly. Then we should survive. So let's take the bold step of, step of uh, arming the uh, now and let the smart in there pop it at the right altitude. You know you can trust me. Stay good by now. Press okay. and space. <laughs> so it's activated. Okay. 
Okay, so that's not made it already. Oh. <laughs> surviving your first real mission. You have managed to launch and control your vessel into space, orient yourself correctly and land safely. That's quite it. If you want to practice this again, choose revert to launch from the pause menu, otherwise end this attempt. And be sure to check out the other tutorial. My next one is about going for orbit and it's really exciting. There's always lots more to learn at the end. Guys, see you next time.